I can tell you one thing. Mm -hmm. God's on her side because she was holding on. When I got to her, she was holding on to that limb for dear life. Tonight at 11, an unbelievable story you'll see only on Wink. Last week, we told you about a grizzly alligator attack. The gator snatched 90-year-old Margaret Webb into a canal, biting off one of her legs. Tonight, Mrs. Webb is in stable condition. Meanwhile, that gator has been caught alive despite being shot in the head. Renee Stoll sits down for an exclusive interview with the man that came to Webb's rescue and helped to save her life. Here at Wooten's Airboat Tours, you can find tigers, alligator wrestlers, and Dwayne Daniels. In his very first interview since saving a 90-year-old woman from an alligator, he explains how a set of coincidences put him in just the right spot at just the right time. I run airboats and entertain tourists. This is where you can find Everglades native Dwayne Daniels III most days, giving tours as an airboat operator. Last Wednesday, Daniels took a detour from his normal routine. I was killing time till um, 2 o'clock. I just so happened to come up here to work and say hello to everybody. One of the captains asked me to pick him up lunch and bring it back to him. He did, and instead of going to Naples like normal, he took State Road 29 to Port Charlotte. But when he passed Margaret Webb's house, something looked odd. The thing about Miss Webb's yard, everything's in order. Every time I ever go by, everything's in order. Everything's in the same spot it was yesterday. I looked over that way and I seen something that struck me odd. And I seen a splash, I wasn't quite sure what it was. Daniels quickly turned around. When I got a glimpse of what it was, that's when I kind of freaked out. This eight foot alligator clenched onto 90 year old Margaret Webb's body and tried dragging her into the canal. She hung onto branches fighting for her life. When I went over the bridge with my truck, I mean, I guess it's a wooden bridge. Right. I don't know if the vibration from the truck hitting the bridge mm -hmm. startled the gator because the gator was easing back. No one knows for how long, but somehow the great grandmother managed to hold on to the trees until Daniels arrived. She was holding on, I'm telling you right now. And I, and I pulled her to the bank, she still didn't let go of that limb. I couldn't imagine the pain that she was going through and, and the fear. Mm -hmm. I mean, and, and I'm telling you what she was doing. She wasn't saying nothing but help me, Jesus. She had nothing else was on her mind. Daniels pulled her from the canal, but the gator had taken a bite of one of her legs and tore off part of the other one. I was, at that time, sick to my stomach, nervous, scared. It was gruesome. It wasn't, it wasn't something that I want to see again, I can promise you. Webb stayed coherent. She even said something to calm Daniels' nerves. She looked at me, and I kind of wanted to have a smile on my face. She said, the gator got me, which I was aware of that. Just then, one of Webb's sons showed up. He got underneath her feet, and I got underneath her neck and shoulders, and we picked her up and carried her up. Webb was taken to Lee Memorial, where she had surgery to remove her left leg and is still fighting to survive. Miss Webb wasn't the only one in that order that day, I can promise you. Yeah. There was a, a strong will and the grace of God, I'm telling you. As for Daniels, he doesn't think he's a hero at all. I think it's kind of ridiculous, to be honest with you. Anybody that would have seen it, would have, I guarantee you, would have done the same thing I did. Webb is currently in serious condition. On any other day, Daniels wouldn't have been near Webb's home, something he doesn't like to think about. I ain't taking no credit. You can get the good man, good Lord upstairs for that. It should be all right. Yeah. Like I said, man upstairs. She's got some, she's got a, she's, there's a reason why she's still here today. He ain't ready to have her yet. As for the gator, Daniels shot it with a gun that he happened to be carrying in his truck that day to give as a gift. Just another coincidence. Now, the gator they found this morning, they do believe to be the one that they were looking for, and they will euthanize it. Reporting in Everglades, Renee Stoll, Wink News, now. Unbelievable story all the way around. Mm -hmm. And in fact, county commissioners plan to present Dwayne Daniels with an award for his heroics sometime in the next month. So well-deserved. Mm -hmm.